It is the Rhythm of the City, 94.3 WYVC. I am Wanda Coppage, and I'm hanging out with you for your midday workforce. As you know, we have been saluting small Black-owned business owners right here in New Haven, straight out of New Haven. And today I have the pleasure of having the owner of Salon E. Salim, Ms. Ebony Peterson. I spoke to her before, but it's always a delight to have her back because I know she has some great things going on for the holidays. So, Ms. Ebony, welcome back. Hi, Wanda. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm good. Now, Miss Ebony, you know there are business owners that we speak to, so she's at her place of input of her business right now. She had to go into <laughs> a back room to get some uh, peace and quiet because it's busy there. Which yes. Is my, my first question: How's business going for you right now? Business is going good. We're in phase two, so we're back to um, taking one client at a time, spacing everybody out every two hours. Um, we have, we're back to using, well, we've been using the same guidelines as we did before, um, uh, sending out clients questionnaires before they walk through the door, having their temperature checked, hands washed, um, those things, just staying, um, on top of making sure that, um, we continue with the guidelines. Yeah. And, um, we have a video, so you can check out the video on Facebook, but once we started the video, she was on point. She had her mask on in her salon. So now that she's in the back room away from everyone, she has the mask off. So following all the regulations and the guidelines. And Absolutely. That's so for those who may have missed the first interview I did with you, tell us a little bit about Miss Ebony Peterson. We know Salon E. Salim is, uh, it kind of plays off of your name. So tell us a little bit about that. My name is Ebony Salima Peterson. E. Salim com comes from E, um, from Ebony Salima. Um, I took the A off and just combined them. Um, <laughs> Salima means peace. So that's something that I'm trying to bring to um, the atmosphere here um, at the salon. I'm from South Carolina. I've been here in New Haven for six years and um, Everything is good. Thank God everything is good. I know that's right. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> located at 45 Willie Avenue, right here in New Haven, as she mentioned, owner of Salon E. Salim, Ebony Peterson, I'm speaking to. Now, Ebony, we have the holidays approaching. We have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, even though we can't really go places like we used to. Right. We still might want to get a little jazzy for, for right. virtual. So tell us about any specials you have going on right now, if any. We're putting together a package deal for the product um, that we use called Naked, um, which comes with the clarifying shampoo conditioner, um, as well as the therapeutic shampoo and conditioner by Estation, which is the company that makes Naked. Okay. Um, we're putting together that package for those who can't come into the salon. Um, just in case phase one, you know, we go back to that. Um, and then coming up December, um, we, Sean, Hair by Sean and I will be doing a special for bonded cap weaves. Um, any bobs or maybe lengthy bobs, short bobs, um, bobs with bangs for um, $60. Um, you, we will not provide the hair. Um, you have to come with that, with your, you know, cap, because we're all about protecting um, the natural hair. And then our new stylist, um, Jahara, she will be doing a silk press special for $50 for the remaining um, of this month and going into um, December. Let me ask you, I'm, I'm going to have you shout out your staff in one second, but when you speak about the silk press, can anybody get a silk press, any type of hair? Yes, of course. Um, it all depends on the product you use. Um, the most important part of a silk press is clean hair. It has to be 100% clean. Um, everybody thinks of uh, the products that we put in to silk the hair out. To me, the first thing is clean hair. So you need to go through a clarifying um, cleansing service, um, conditioning, of course. And uh, once, once you go through that process, you only need a light, a light amount of products to put on the hair. Um, you want that hair to be flowy and not um, heavy. So that's why the cleansing product is the most important part of the silk press. But anybody can have a silk press. Now, I, you're speaking about the cleaning, the cleansing process of the hair. I know we were speaking before and you said that is of the utmost importance. When you take your client, they have to get their hair washed by you or your staff. Absolutely, because we don't know what they're using at home. Um, we try to stay on top of professional products. 
that are not used on the shelf. There are some um, distributors that, you know, sell their products to, um, you know, open salons that are, you know, like Sally's or Cosmo Pro, but we try our best to get those products like Influence or Design Essentials or Naked or Essations where um, our clients can only come into the salon. Um, for that reason, we don't know what products are those clients and consumers are using at home. And we don't want anything to clash with what we're using here. And even if they do shampoo their hair, there's a possibility that you could leave shampoo or conditioner in your hair that is that will cause a buildup or will cause a, an allergic reaction. And sometimes a lot of people think that they have growing dandruff or they're going through a, a phase of their hair thinning. It could be that you're leaving products in, such right. as shampoo or conditioner. Because you did you did say growing dandruff, there's no such thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dry scalp, yes. Growing down dandruff, no. Uh, no, no such thing at all. That's, that's just something we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel good, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and you mentioned, I believe you said her name is Jahira. She's doing a, a special as well for the holiday special. Yeah, she's on new stylist here. Um, she's from the Bristol area. Um, she uh, started about three weeks ago, and she's doing really good. Nice. Um, she's great with color, great with silk presses, great with natural um, coral hair. She she's amazing. And and tell us about your other staff members. How how many do you have on staff, and who are the um, shout-outs? All together is four of us. We've had past um, hairstylists who are great, um, who are who have uh, since moved on, um, and we've encouraged them to you know just branch out. They they became entrepreneurs. Right. which is what we've been trying to do here. But we have um, Izzy, the hairstylist, who is one of the top uh, silk press um, uh, kings around here. There's a lot more other um, stylists in the New Haven area that they do a great job with silk pressing. Um, he is absolutely one of, um, He, I will say he's the king. <laughs> um, I love how you and, brag on your stylist. That's absolutely. Awesome. And um, Hair by Shot who is all about protection and she's amazing with her uh, closure. She has this technique that is just so amazing. Um, I watch her sometimes and I'm just in awe at her age and how much she's been kind of thrown into the hair industry and her lit her leadership skills is just amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, she's been doing um, uh, extensions for a very long time and has mastered um, her own technique into uh, her closures and making sure that her clients here are protected without using glue. So um, she's amazing as well. Absolutely. She's amazing. I, I love the support. You could tell that there's a, you're a family knit or family environment. I love that yes. you can encourage your stylists who have come and gone out to start their own to, to venture out on your own. It's not all about here. You need to grow into something. Greater Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Tell us about, well, your start, your journey. When you started the, the business, how long have you been in business? You said six years? I've been, um, I've been doing hair like 26 years. I started in um, Conway, South Carolina with Salon East Saline. I've worked in other salons um, before that, managing those salons. Um, and when I moved here, I, I booth rented for a while. I, I kind of was out of owning because I had did it for so, I've done it for many years and I was just like, you know what? I just want to sit back. I just want to, you know, sit back and just, um, just booth rent and just have some sense of freedom, but that I couldn't get away from it. And I, I just, I was just like, okay, it's time for me to, you know, just branch out on my own. So, um, here I am in hopes to encourage our up and coming, um, hairstylists and hope to help them open up their own business and, just venture out into whatever, you know, wherever their path may lead them. That, that, that sounds like purpose. It sounds like what you're talking about. Is Absolutely. Purpose. And, and I love that, that because you, you find people in business that have that crabs in the barrel mentality. Like you, you come into this, this studio, this salon, you can't be better than me and you got to stay here. You Absolutely. Are at that, and that's very commendable. So yes. since you're you're here to encourage, to inspire, tell us for those that are listening and that want to start a salon, what are some tips and advice that you could give them, some of the hurdles they may have come across during this journey that 
they can get over because you've done it? Um, be open-minded to learning, no matter what level uh, you are in this beauty industry. Um, find a mentor that can help you get through. Um, I never had anyone to push me or lead me into the right direction under the, other than my sister who kind of helped me in the beginning. Um, but she got out of hair at a young age. And after that, she would just encourage me with her words. But to kind of call someone who is still in the hair industry, who uh, who can uh, compare notes with you and tell, kind of lead you in the right direction, wherever you, whatever you're failing in. Um, I kind of um, I first moved here in 2014. Before moving here, um, the first person that I called was Sharon from Sharon and Joy. Um, amazing, um, an amazing are they, are they from here? Are they from New They're Haven? in New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. Um, Sharon has been doing years for a very long time. Um, she, she, she was just such an amazing person. Um, she, we compared notes um, based upon, you know, my schooling in South Carolina and where she went to school, um, what she had, you know, accomplished and you know, any things that she went through here in New Haven. Um, but other than that, she was someone that I could call on all the time. So that kind of helped me throughout the years here in New Haven and as well as um, my cousin, Veronica McMillan, who has a hair salon here in New Haven. She was where I first um, started working here. So I've had, you know, they say it takes a village, you know? So I, ha I had a village. I had a village, absolutely. And, and um, now you're returning that because you're you're walking in your purpose to open doors for somebody else. Absolutely. Um, don't be afraid um, to step out. Um, if you find yourself constantly hungry, go for it. Sometimes you have to take a risk. You have to just just walk into it. Mm -hmm. um, faith without work is dead. You can't well, hope for things. Word, absolutely. You can't sit and hope and wish for things and not work towards it. Um, set goals for yourself every single day, not just the month, not just five years, every single every single day. Um, every little step that you take, even if you're just crawling, it's still, pro it's still a progress. And um, don't give up, don't give up at all. If you can't tell, this woman has a beautiful spirit and she does gorgeous hair. She Thank you. Great staff. You're very welcome. Her name is Ebony Peterson. You know how they say, Google me, Google her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Owner you. Of Salon, East Saline, 45 Whaley Avenue in New Haven, all a part of WIBC and Yale University saluting New Haven small black owned businesses. And sis, I salute you because you out here queening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now tell us where we can go to follow you on social media. I have it up on the screen, but tell us for the, the air. Um, you can go to our website, www.salonisaleem.com. Um, Salon Isaleem uh, via Facebook and Salon Isaleem via um, Instagram. And any personal pages, um, Isaleem Styles is my page. You also have um, Yahara Hair, Izzy the Stylist, and Hair by Sean. Nice. You see how she keeps plugging her stylist? Absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate your time, Ebony. Always a pleasure speaking to you. And Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you missed any part of this interview, it's going to be on Facebook on 943WYBC, Instagram, and Facebook. My personal page, Wanda, oh, that's Wanda Coppage. So make sure you check it out and check Miss Ebony Peterson out at Salon e Salim. I love Thank that. you so much. You're welcome. Keep it locked in. More great music is still on the way. You got it to the rhythm of the city. 94.3WYBC.